Well, it was a tough ending to the regular season for the Wisconsin Badgers. They got swept at Ohio State and have dropped four straight. But the playoffs begin this weekend. Wisconsin heads to Ann Arbor to take on the Michigan Wolverines. I'm Brian Posick, and associate head coach Marco Siki joins me next on the Badger Hockey Digest. How do you want to live? As a decent person? Good husband. Is that it? Good? Of course not. King of the Hill? Better. Top of your game? Win. All powerful. Like a boss. Like a pro. We couldn't agree more. We are professional grade. Get 10,000 total value on a specially equipped 2018 GMC Sierra SLT Crew Cab model when you finance through GM Financial. Plus, get additional 1500 auto show purchase cash. This is Lexi Rush. She's 10, and she's amazing. You see, Lexi was born deaf and couldn't hear anything. That was until her doctor in Appleton referred her to the pediatric specialist at UW Health in Madison. Now, two operations later, Lexi can hear everything. Powerful minds, compassionate care, amazing results. UW Health, remarkable. Well, as the uh, regular season wrapped up last weekend, didn't get the results you wanted against Ohio State. But boy, on Friday, the first and second periods, your team was really, really good. And if you can play like that on the road when the postseason begins, you're going to be in pretty good shape. Absolutely. I mean, we, our, our guys came out with great purpose on Friday, uh, certainly the first and second period. And, and it kind of fell apart late in the third. But, you know, the two penalties gave them a jump start. But the first and second period, our guys played well. And if we can carry that forward, we thought we carried that forward on Saturday as well. I mean, the first period, uh, Ohio State had one scoring chance as far as what we were concerned with. Uh, and, and so we had, we had a good response as well. And we just couldn't find a way to uh, get enough at the net and, and find a way to find the back of the net mm -hmm. enough, obviously. Yeah, Ohio State has a knack of uh, keeping teams away from their own net. They're very good defensively. So how do you fight through that? Well, I mean, you have to have a first, uh, obviously, with the first uh, thought process, get the puck to the net. But then you've got to, you know, battle and find a way to stay at the net and, and the second and third option or opportunities at the net. And we just didn't do enough of that. We were, I don't want to say we were perimeter because we had shots at the net and we had pucks towards the net. They did a very good job clearing it out. Uh, they're a transition team as well. They, they smother you quickly with their speed uh, and then they get the puck up and, and go the other way pretty quick. So it's, it's a, you know, they, De defense by committee for them, and then their goaltender played outstanding, but they do get the puck going the other direction quickly. Yeah, I know it's been a struggle putting the puck in the net, not only five on five right now, but the power play, it needs to get going, doesn't it? Yeah, power play, I mean, you've got to find a way. It's not always going to go the right way, and you're not going to score goals every single time on the power play. But, you know, you, you, you have to understand the mentality. The penalty kill is going to go out there and try to all work the power play, right. and unfortunately, that's what happened both nights, and even going back to the Saturday night against Minnesota. So we just have to simplify maybe find a way to retrieve a puck get it uh, you know uh, hide a low and get pucks towards the net and really simplify and uh, you know if we do that we'll start feeling good about ourselves I think guys on the bench will get a little bit of a jump start as well sure uh, against Ohio State one of the uh, most consistent lines was the fourth line which featured Jason Ford he's one of uh, 12 father-son combos to play for the University of Wisconsin let's take two minutes with Jason Ford You're a banking, finance, and investment major? Yeah. How involved is that, Jason? Uh, it's pretty difficult, especially now. I'm kind of getting in the, into all the, the finance courses right now, so it's pretty pretty engaging and pretty tough, but, but that's all right. I'm enjoying it. What do you hope to do with that? Uh, I don't really know yet. Um, I might uh, try and do some real estate stuff, too, as well, because I'm interested in that. But um, yeah, whatever opens up. I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, what the future holds. Yeah, do you find yourself counting money a lot in this major? <laughs> try it, try it to, but there's not much to count, so it's been tough. <laughs> your father went here. Your brother was here for a short period of time as well and then went to, to Michigan Tech. What's it been like being kind of a, a legacy Badger hockey player? It's been unbelievable. Um, just having my parents be able to come to, to every game and, um, you know, my dad was a heck of a player and a heck of a coach here, so it's it's cool that I just was able to, uh, you know, be be even half the player he was, um, and then to share that experience with my brother, um, even though it was a short short time, was uh, I mean, not many people get to say they get to uh, share college and play 
this high of a level with their brother. When did you know that, all right, I wanted to be a Badger like my dad? Um, probably when I started taking hockey a little more seriously in fifth, sixth grade and stuff like that, and being able to see, be around him while he was coaching and, and stuff. Um, it's always been a dream and, and growing up here, I mean, that's a, all anyone talks about is, is the Badgers. So um, ever since I was a little kid and, and got to be around it and experience my dad and, and all the great fans and the great facilities and what Madison has to offer, it's been, it's been a dream come true. What would it be like having a third generation Ford playing for Wisconsin? Oh, that would be, that'd be cool. That'd be, uh, that'd be something to look back upon and, and, and be proud of just to, uh, I mean, this is such a prestigious university and prestigious hockey program and everything. So, I mean, if that happens, then, then uh, that's awesome. You gotta find a girl first. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. <laughs> Most people don't know that UW Health and the University of Wisconsin are national leaders in the field of kidney transplant. They provide new life for those who will likely die without a transplant. And they assure normal life for those who donate. I would know, I donated a kidney, and together we saved a life. UW Health, remarkable. I just picked up the cake for the baby shower. Yay! You know she's having a boy, right? Oh boy. Buick now has an SUV for that. Introducing the Buick Encore. I knew I could trust you guys with the cake. Oh, no problem. <laughs> that was close. <sighs> One of three luxury SUVs from the new Buick. Get 3250 purchase allowance on most Buick Encore models. And now during the auto show, receive an additional 1000 purchase cash. We just heard from Jason Ford. You know, here's a young man who, like his father, played at the University of Wisconsin. You know Pat Ford rather well. And uh, I love that, that part of the history of Wisconsin hockey. You can talk about the championships and the national championships and what have you, but when fathers have sons, they want to be Badgers too. Well, I think it's pretty cool to see the history of it and the tradition of uh, Wisconsin hockey where it's carried forward. I mean, you, you, obviously with Chevy being here and, and then his sons growing up in this area and seeing it and now Jason being here and being part of it. Uh, a lot of brother, uh, you know, combo acts here and sure. they, they all see it. I mean, the, the younger ones, whether it's the sons of former players or younger siblings see it and they want to be a part of it and it's it's fun to see that they want to carry on the tradition sure wisconsin's on the road the big 10 playoffs begin with a best of three first round series at michigan i'm glad it's not a single game shot are you absolutely i mean it, this is I, I think this is what makes hockey fun or when there's a series um, you know, most of these guys have all played junior hockey at some level or uh, different whatever leagues they are, whether it's USHL or up in Canada. And, and they always find, you know, their playoffs always find a way to have a series. And so that's what they're used to. The one game shot, I mean, you, just, you flip a coin at times. Sometimes a better team does not win. You might run into a, a hot goaltender or the mercy of a, a, a couple power play calls here and there. So, you know, at least with a series, you give yourself an opportunity for the better team to win on that weekend. Yeah, and against Michigan, they're Head coach Mel Pearson did an excellent job getting that program started again. And in the four-game series against the Wolverines, the Badgers went 2-1-1. One, and one. There were 32 total goals, 42 power play attempts, 10 power play goals, and 60 penalties. This will be an entertaining series here, Mark. It should be. I mean, it's a, Yost is a great place to go into to play, so our guys will be ready right, right when the puck's dropped. And I, I would assume we'll have a very similar start like we did at Ohio State. And, um, you know, our guys had some success against Michigan, so th they'll build off that. They'll feel good about going into the games on Friday. All right, thanks for your time. Good luck. All right, thanks, Brian. Sure, Mark Osiki, Badgers associate head coach. Wisconsin and Michigan, again, a best of three series, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday night if necessary. All three games start at 6.30 Central. You can hear them on the Badgers Sports Network. There is no television, although you can pick up the games on BTN+. For Marco Siki, I'm Brian Posick. Thanks for watching the Badger Hockey Digest.